When root clipping for volume, you're gonna take one of these clips, you're going to hold it like this, and then you're going to chuck it over your shoulder. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle, I'm a licensed hairstylist with over 20 years of experience. And on this channel, I use those years of experience to help you have healthy, happy hair. Now, why shouldn't you use these double prong clips? Well, the biggest reason is because the way that you put these in here for volume, there's really only kind of one way that you can do it, and that's grab a bunch of hair and you can lift up and it'll hold it up. But now you're, you've got separation on either side because you've gathered the hair together and pinched it in there. So while you're creating volume, you're also kind of creating some splits and divisions, and you might even get some weird wonky bends. And sometimes these prongs can even like leave little indents on your hair. Also, it's really easy for the hair to get stuck in these and it can get pulled out or it can get broken. And if you use any heat at all when drying your hair, this can heat up and can cause some heat damage and it can create dents. Now, if you use these and they work really well for you, that's great. But for those of you who struggle with root clipping because you find that you get a bunch of separations in your hair, then just keep watching and I'll show you some alternatives to using the double prong clip. My recommendation is to use these type of clips, these claw clips, and they come in different sizes. I have little teeny tiny ones and then these, and they come in bigger ones than this. And you can even use one of these much larger clips. Now there are some companies that do make some claw clips specifically for root clipping, and you can certainly look into getting those but I do find that these work quite well and are probably less expensive. I got all of these at Target, and like I said, they come in different sizes to fit whatever your needs might be. So there's really no need to look into any sort of specialized clips when any kind of claw clip will work. So before I show you how to clip the hair, let's talk about when you should clip the hair. And for everyone, that's gonna be different and largely dependent on how fast your hair dries. If your hair dries really fast, you're gonna to wanna to clip your roots a lot sooner than somebody like me who has a very coarse, high density hair. My hair takes a long time to dry, so I have a little bit more time before I really need to put the clips in. However, I'm not someone who likes to air dry my hair. I usually do go directly from styling into diffusing, and so, if I'm gonna root clip, I will do it right away. However, I don't usually root clip very often. I prefer instead to get volume at my roots using the method detailed in this video right up here. But I do know that I have had some of you ask me how to root clip, so I've decided to go ahead and do a video and show you how to do it. So now with this clip right here, this is for those of you who like to put a part in your hair, but you don't like how your hair gets flat around the part. And this, you would just take it and put it right in there along the part. I don't really have a part. I mean, I kind of do, it's a messy part. It's just how my hair landed. But if I were to put a very uh, nice, neat part in there, I would just put this right in on either side, draw it up and you can see it lifts it right up along there. And then as it dries, you're gonna get all that lift and volume right up in there. And you're not gonna get any separations this way because you're not squishing hair together and creating separations on either side. You're kind of going with the grain of the hair on either side and you're just lifting it up so that all it does is give you that little bit of lift without really causing any sort of separations or clumping together or any kind of weird bends. And even just taking that out, you can see it kind of created a little lift. My hair is wet, it's not gonna stay that way, but you can definitely tell that if you dry your hair like that, that you're gonna get some lift and volume just from that alone. And now to move on to these smaller clips, and I have seen people do the same thing with these clips that they do with the prong clips, where they grab kind of a bunch like this, they push it up, and then they put the clip in. And again, you're gonna have a separation here, and you're gonna have a separation right here, because you pulled it together and squished it together. And you might even get like a weird kind of bend right here or even into here because of how you're kind of pushing it up in order to get a little bit of lift and volume. So instead of doing it like that, I would go with the grain of the hair. And you can see I do have some separations due to 
I brush, what, the way that I brush dye on my hair, I brush this section forward, the rest I brush kind of going back or just straight up and letting it fall down. And so I do have a separation and if I don't want that there, all I have to do is just kind of comb through with my fingers so I'm not squishing anything together and creating any kind of separation. As you can see, I got rid of that separation there and I didn't create any others. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and stick the clip right in here and bring it up. And that's going to get rid of that separation between the two that I had here before. And it's gonna lift it up, as you can see right up here. And I'm gonna get some lift and volume. And now if I had a bigger clip, I would be able to do that with a much larger section. But I do like using these small clips and just kind of combining them wherever I need it instead of using larger ones, but that's personal preference and whatever works for you. But definitely going in the direction of the hair versus grabbing a bunch of it, pushing up, is going to give you the most natural looking lift up at the top where you don't have those separations. And that's going to also be especially useful for those of you who have fine low density hair, who struggle with seeing your scalp through your hair as it is. You probably really don't want to have those separations and make that even more exaggerated. This is something that's gonna help that even more. And then the same way that I got rid of the separation up front is how you would handle a cowlick as well. And you would just comb it together like I showed you, hold it together and then put the clip in on this side where the, the hair is that you're wanting to hold together and then go like this and bring it up. And you can see it also brings up the other side as well of the part or kind of partial part. It brings up both at the same time and gives some nice lift up there. And it's going to hold together any type of separation from a colic without creating a separation on either side of the colic. Because it kind of defeats the purpose of getting rid of that big wide split that a colic can cause if you're gonna create two more in its place instead. And then another way that you can get a little bit of lift, especially like in areas right along here, and if you don't wanna see any kind of marks or have any kind of separations is to take that hair along the top very gently and be very careful when separating it so that you're not gonna cause frizz. And then take a clip like this, one of these alligator clips and clip it up underneath and then let it go over and you can see as opposed to this side that this lifted up and this side does tend to get a little flat on me here sometimes and it's just the way that my hair is. So this is gonna help lift that up and I'm not gonna see any marks from it and I'm not gonna have any sort of separation and it's just gonna keep that volume and lift that I've got going up on the top moving towards the round of my head so that I don't have just all of this height right here with nothing right here and it just kind of comes down like a ski slope or a ski jump maybe even where it just goes straight down. And now I'm just gonna put a few more clips in doing the same thing that I showed you where I just grab it, comb it together and then put it in that way. And I'm gonna do the same thing right over here and I'll see if I can do this left-handed. And here is what the top looks like with very little to no separation whatsoever caused by the clips. In fact, the clips are kind of correcting some of the separation that was caused by the brush styling. And now I can go ahead and diffuse this and then take them out when I'm done. And there's a couple of ways that you can go about diffusing your hair while you have the root clips in. You can go ahead and hit those with the diffuser first to kind of dry them and set them in place and then just leave them in there because leaving them in there will just help hold them in place while you're working on the rest of your hair. Or you can just go ahead and diffuse your hair like you normally do, starting wherever you usually do, and then just getting to the roots and letting them dry. Because whether they dry on their own with air drying, or if you're hitting them with a the diffuser, they're still gonna keep their nice lift because you've got the clips in there and it'll hold it there until you take them out. And another thing that you can do to really set everything in place and to hold that lift that you've got going on in there is to use a hairspray before you diffuse and make sure that you get a good mist right up on the roots 
And even better would be to use one that is volumizing. So today I'm gonna to use the Rizos Curls Volumizing Hairspray, and I'm gonna do a few spritz right up at the top, and then I'm gonna spritz everywhere else, and now I'm gonna go ahead and diffuse, and then I'll come back and I'll take these clips out and show you the results. Here's my hair dry, and as you can see, I've got some nice root lift up there. This is kind of lifted up too, due to this little clip that's hidden in here. And I'm gonna go ahead and very gently remove that alligator clip. And there we go. And then I'm gonna remove everything else, put in some serum. And there's no crunch to scrunch out. The products that I used did not have a cast. And then just be very careful when removing some of these clips. I tend to flip my head all around when I'm diffusing, so some of the hair has gotten a little bit wrapped around, but there's nothing really for the hair to get stuck on, to get either pulled out or broken. Mostly what's gonna happen is you're just gonna cause a little bit of frizz, so just be a little bit careful pulling them out, but it's not gonna be too detrimental if it does, if there's a little bit of a hair that gets caught up here or there. But anyway, so, that's out and you can see my hair is holding that lift quite nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in a serum. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Evolve Wonder Balm. I love this stuff. I use about a half a pump and then just distribute a small amount all the way around and then just evenly distribute it throughout my hair first. I don't wanna go directly into scrunching or anything because I don't want all of that product that's on my hand to just go in one spot. And then even though there's no cast, I do still kind of scrunch so I can work that product into the ends and kind of loosen up the curls a little bit. That is the serum applied, but I'm gonna go ahead and give my hair a little bit of fluff just to get a little extra volume in here. Here we are with the finished results. I have lots of lift in volume up at the top here and lots of volume throughout. And for those of you who would like to know what products I put in my hair to get all of this soft, fluffy volume, I used the Evolve Total Control Cream to brush style my hair to get some nice definition and clumps. I followed that with the Evolve Dream Gel and I just kind of glazed it over and scrunched it in. And then I followed that with the Surface Curls Firm Styling Mousse. And again, I just glazed it over and scrunched it in. And then as you saw, because I did this on camera, I put in the Rizos Curls Volumizing Hairspray all over just before I diffused. And now while I labeled this a do this, not this type of video, there really is no right or wrong. There's right for your hair. And everybody's hair is completely different. So if the metal clips work for you, that's totally fine. But if you find that you've been struggling with those or struggling with root clipping in general, hopefully you found this video helpful. And if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.